Technology is both the best and worst thing that happened to ADHD, right? We're distracted by our phones, we're distracted by technology, but there are some really great apps that help us maintain our life. So today I'm gonna to be walking through my 10 favorite apps that I use every single day that help my ADHD, help me stay focused, help me stay organized. All of these will be linked below. I am gonna be linking the Apple version because that's what I have, uh, but you can probably find most of them, I believe, on Android as well. Hey guys, it's Jenna Redfield here. I talk a lot about ADHD and Notion and organization and tips. I also have a podcast called The Collective Marketing Podcast if you wanna learn more about marketing. But today I'm gonna to be talking about my favorite apps on my phone that I absolutely love. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of screenshots and kind of how to use them. Let's just get started. So the first app that I actually use, which I'm using for this video right now, is my notes app. It comes with the iPhone, so it's something I use, especially if I just need a quick note. It's absolutely the one I turn to first. And one of the things that's really helpful is I've recently started organizing my notes app. I know I'm filming this days before the new iOS comes out, so I'm definitely gonna be doing a follow-up video on my favorite uh, iOS 15 updates. But one of the things I like about my you know, apps is that I can actually sort them by folders. And I actually went through, <laughs> this is actually really funny. I went through and found some old notes that like made no sense to me. And I actually posted them in a ADHD Facebook group and everyone laughed because they were so hilarious because they literally don't make any sense. But I do love notes for just keeping track of things. So for this video, I actually wrote down my top 10 uh, apps that I use and that's what I'm gonna be referring to in this video. All right, the second app that I use every single day and I tell all of my clients about this app, I tell all my friends about this app and that is the app called Otter. Now, why I love Otter so much, I was actually introduced to this by someone at an event and I was like, wait, what? Are you kidding me? And what it does is it's actually an auto dictation app. So for me, I'm not a very fast typer. I also talk really fast. So using something like Otter allows me to record my thoughts instantly. It actually auto transcribes everything and then I can sort it by timestamps. I can also, you know, add a speaker. So if it's a conversation, I use this for my coaching, for my podcast and just for everyday life. When I'm writing an Instagram caption, I use Otter because I just literally auto dictate what I wanted to say and then I can edit it. Obviously, I usually do it in notes. So basically, Otter has become my lifesaver for uh, taking control of what I'm saying out loud and auto transcribing my life. And I'm able to then search for that when I put it in Notion um, and so it's able to be found. So if you are like so scattered with your thoughts, Start using Otter, it's $10 a month, but I think it's one of the best things I pay for because I use it so much. There is a free version as well. It is available on um, desktop, I believe, as an app, or I think you just use like the browser. And then they also have apps for iPad and um, iPhone. So again, I am using Apple products, so that's what I will be referring to in this video. So the third app is not a surprise to anyone who's watched this channel. I did a whole video about this recently, and that is Notion. Now I use Notion for almost 80% of my ADHD everything because it's an all-in-one tool. Um, obviously it doesn't work like Otter, otherwise I wouldn't use Otter, but you know, there's so many different tools out there, but I've just found that Notion is so customizable that I don't need a specific app uh, for a specific thing. It just covers everything. So I'm not going to go into Notion today because I have literally have so many videos on it. So make sure to check all of them out. I've done a ton of them and I'm planning to do more. So let me know in, in the comments what you want to learn more about Notion, especially with ADHD what I track, that kind of stuff. So the next thing that I use every single day with ADHD is Spotify. I'm a huge fan of Spotify. I started using it almost 10 years ago, you guys. I've been using Spotify for 10 years. And one of the things that I love about Spotify is that it has both music and podcasts. So I wanted to share, I don't think I've ever shared this list before, um, of some of my favorite ADHD podcasts, as well as some music and playlists. So I am going to be linking some of my playlists below, but some of my favorite podcasts around ADHD include uh, ADHD for Smart Ass Women. I'm actually in their Facebook group as well. Probably my favorite ADHD podcast is called Hacking Your ADHD with William Curb. That is such a great one because it's short and it's really, really helpful. And then the other one is, um, I believe it's called I Have ADHD Podcast with Kristen Carter. Those three are probably the ones I've listened to the most. I think they're all really amazing. And I think that they all have really good tips. And definitely when I was learning more about ADHD, I used those three as basically my foundations. 
I also really like listening to different songs. Um, if you just type in the word focus, you can find binaural beats, which are really great. They're really helpful. Also ADHD focus music, um, upbeat focus. Those are some of my favorites. ADHD mindful music with subliminal messaging. I always like those as well. Focus flow. Those are a couple of the Spotify playlists I like to listen to if I'm really trying to focus and not wanting to just listen to pop music, which is what I usually listen to. I also play my Spotify on um, my Alexa, but I also have good headphones. I'm gonna grab them real quick. So I actually recently got some, some like AirPod, like knockoffs from Five Below. They were $8 and they work just like AirPods. I've been using those a ton. I also use my headband that you might've seen in my other video. I use that in the winter. Um, in the summer, I use my AirPods when I'm on a walk. But then I also use these headphones. They're Sony uh, professional headphones that I use for my podcast. But what I love about these is they're somewhat noise canceling so I can listen to music if I need to. So there's a couple different ways I listen to music, um, but those are just the main ones. Okay, so the next app, I know this is probably not the best app, but I am obsessed with TikTok. This is actually how I figured out I have ADHD, and also there's some really great people on the app. Um, I'm actually just gonna show you guys their pictures and their usernames below because I can't remember them at the moment, but these are people that I really enjoy uh, learning more from. In addition to TikTok, I also really like the Kindle app and that's where I read a lot of books. Um, those are both like my, I guess, the entertainment apps that I'm including on this list. Um, but those are ones that I really recommend. Uh, I read a ton. Okay, so the next app is another one of my favorites. I actually talked about this on my podcast this week and that is my obsession with Google Photos. Now, my most uh, popular TikTok of all time was me freaking out that Google Photos isn't free anymore. <gasps> After everything we've been through. But I am paying for Google One, I think it's called, so I'm already paying for it. Uh, but Google Photos is amazing to organize all of my photo and video. So if you're a content creator, or even if you just have a ton of content uh, from your life, I recommend Google Photos. It's the best one out of all of them I've tried. And the, uh, you know, everything is just so great. You can organize everything by album. Um, for someone who is constantly taking photos and filling up my phone, you can quickly delete every photo and image on your phone and it'll save it to the cloud. So highly recommend Google Photos, absolute favorite app. So one of my favorite apps is called Just Watch. Um, I use Notion a little bit to track TV shows and stuff, but this auto populates it and lets me know when new episodes are coming out. So I actually really like this one a little bit better. Um, but Just Watch is great because I can not only track my shows, but it also tells me which platforms they're on. So for me, knowing when my next episode is live, as well as how many episodes I have watched and tracking that has been super helpful with ADHD. In addition, I didn't mention this one, but Good Goodreads is another one of my favorite apps uh, to track the books I'm reading. I can track percentages to see how far I am in a book. I can track to see what's on my reading list because, you know, as someone with ADHD, I feel like people are like, oh, you can't possibly focus and read, but I actually really do when I get into a book. Um, I go into hyper-focus mode and I, I read a lot. So I've been reading more this year than I think I've ever done because I've just been so interested in all these books and I'm trying to watch less TV, you know. <laughs> all right, so the next app is uh, Amazon's Alexa app because I love to be able to set up automation um, with the smart devices in my home. I've talked about this in another video where I've talked about different Amazon Alexa apps, so I highly recommend watching that video. I will link it right here. But that is another great app for ADHD because again, I'm using that device as a second brain and my phone can control it. So there's a couple different other smart home apps. Um, you know, I use the Ring as well, which is nice to know, you know, when my Amazon package is being delivered. So highly recommend those. So the last several apps are ones that I personally don't use, but I think that some of you guys watching may like, and those are like the ADHD specific apps. So. Uh, Timo, Info ADHD, O Waves, Cocoon Weaver, Flow, Strides, um, and then all the other habit trackers, time management trackers. There are so many out there that I personally think a lot of people can use. I'm still trying to figure out which one I like best because I've been so focused on Notion, I haven't really looked into some of the ADHD or the habit tracking apps, but I know that they're super helpful and a lot of them are really great. 
So those are my like general apps, uh, my top 10 that I would say are the ones that I personally use or recommend or would look into. Uh, let me know uh, what other types of videos you wanna see. I am gonna be doing literally either ADHD or Notion content, I guess, moving forward. I also may sprinkle in some marketing no uh, stuff because that's really what I do for a living and I really like sharing that. But most of my marketing stuff is on my podcast, The Collective Marketing Podcast. So I hope you guys check that out. It is on Spotify. Spotify. So it's free to listen to. You can just uh, download Spotify or Apple Podcasts, whatever you listen to, and just type in Collective Marketing Podcast. And I talk all about marketing. I do mention ADHD on there as well. I do have an interview with my friend Lindsay on ADHD. It was a really good episode. It's actually one of my most listened to episodes. Um, so I, I'm hoping to talk more about ADHD on there as well. So let me know what you guys want to see from me in the future, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.